listen, there's a formula in this industry. Don't break the formula. Don't do songs, don't do South songs, don't do reality shows, don't do TV. Mm. You do any of this stuff, you're over. Pack your bags, go back to your country, like that. Perfect. It's always just bullying. Yeah. Like, bah! Hey, Aja, Aja! Come, come, see her Hindi! Like this, calling everybody to come look at, like I'm some circus. You know what I mean? At that time, I was like, you know what, Nora? <clears throat> You're sacrificing 20 lakhs for a bigger picture. So I'm just like, mm -mm, I have to make it. I have to make it. She's already danced her way to your hearts. But with her performance in Battle House, she's expected and planning to take you by a sweet surprise. Welcoming Nora Fateh in a conversation with Pink Villa. Thank you, Nandeep. I just like your name. <laughs> I've How been good. Been? Yeah, I've been really good. Of course, I'm um, overwhelmed with the response I'm getting for Saki. Yeah. You know, uh, Nora, today you've created a space of your own. Um, that's primarily happened right after Dilbar. Let's start with where you started, you know, the humble beginnings that you come from. You never had a godfather in the industry. No. Was it difficult the first few years? It still is difficult today. Some people don't really know, I actually am from Canada. So I came from Toronto with the idea of uh, being able to kind of work in the entertainment industry here. Yeah. So I came via an agency and you know, uh, life for foreigners in India through agencies is very difficult. We that go through a lot and people don't know, you know, we, we go through, um, they take our money, they don't give us our money. That has happened to you? Yeah, yeah it's happened to me. I've lost like, like I remember my first agency which I came from Canada to India, that agency uh, was was really uh, aggressive with their models in terms mm. of behavior and stuff. And I didn't feel like I was um, being guided the right yeah. way with them, so I wanted to leave them. So in order to leave, they're like, okay, so we're not going to give you your money. And you, that was so, how much money? That was at that time 20 lakhs. Oh yeah, my God. which I had made from my first ever ad campaign I did with Dove. Yeah. And that was like my first ever uh, opportunity in front of the camera, in a commercial, you know, acting and doing all that. And I did a couple of commercials after Dove. I did one with Virat Kohli yeah. for Toyota. I did one for Parachute Body Lotion. So I was a face for a lot of brands when yeah. I came to India initially, which is how I knew that I had a knack for being in front of the camera. Um, but unfortunately, because I wanted to leave that agency to pursue a better management, yeah. I had to sacrifice. At that time, I was like, you know what, Nora? <clears throat> you're sacrificing 20 lakhs for a bigger picture, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it really hurt at that time for me, but I saw a lot of other girls in my situation who had to go through the same thing, who, who would leave India after their contract is done and they would never get their money. I remember initially when I first came, um, you know, I, I had to share an apartment with a lot of girls. Yeah. And you, you don't, you're not told that, you know, when you're coming from Canada, to India as a as Absolutely, a as a model, yeah. they don't say. Hey, by the way, you're gonna share an apartment with eight girls. You know what I'm saying? So I and that was must like, be really difficult. It, also. I was shocked. I walk into this apartment. There's eight girls, and I'm freaking out. You know, and uh, you know there was a lot of competition, and in between, like they stole my passport, and I had to like leave the country and go back home to Canada, and then what? yeah, it was crazy. It was just for this dream of becoming an entertainer in Bollywood. But, I had to go through so much stuff. But this was uh, when? Like, this was like five years back. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I overcame all that and then I kind of became headstrong in India yeah. and I was like, I am going to do this. So I got a Hindi teacher, started learning Hindi. I started going for auditions. Yeah. Now, the auditions were very traumatic for me. Like what? very, tra because I was being sent to auditions when I was just learning Hindi. Do you know mm. what I mean? So it was like, you know a little bit of Hindi. Chal, 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 go, 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 give the audition, give the audition. And I'm not really mentally yeah. prepared, you know? So I would make a fool out of myself. And people are like unforgiving, you know? So they would Did laugh. Did they have mean comments? Mean, Past they would laugh in front of my face. Bah! Are, hey, aja, aja! Come, come, see her Hindi. Like this, calling everybody to come look at, like I'm some circus. You know what I mean? Yeah. I used to go through all that. Right now, it's funny. When I discuss yeah. this with my friends, I laugh. But at that time, I was like, humiliating. what the hell am I doing? You know? And then I'd go back home and like very dramatic. I'd sit in a rickshaw and cry in the rickshaw, like howling, like, Aah! and the rickshaw driver would be like, 
is everything okay? And I'd be like, just take me home. And I'd come home and start crying. And my friend would be like, why are you crying? And I'd be like, because everyone's laughing at me, you know. She'd be like, shut up, clean your face and, you know, just just do your thing. So I had to go through a lot of like humiliation, people laughing at me at auditions. I remember one casting director, she ripped me apart. She told me, why are you even here? So I was like, because I want to like make it, you know, yeah. I have a dream, I have a passion, I want to act, I want to dance, I want to be a performer, I want to entertain people. No, 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 go back to your country, like that. We already have people like you, go back. And I'm just like, oh, you know, so we, we have to face yeah. a lot of that stuff. So, you know, Nora, you were talking about casting uh, directors misbehaving and the, the woman, but there are a lot of men who are predators, you know, and there are so many men who were named also. Right. Um, did you come across something like that? Was it like humiliating for you? As the, See, I, I never um, like came across pre like sexual predators, yeah. nothing like that. Always, it's always just bullying. Yeah. Like, why are you here? You're Hindi as shit. You can do this. You can't do that. Yeah. We have too many people like you. This is what I used to face. Do you know what I mean? Or sometimes yeah. I would face like me begging for someone just to take my audition and them not answering my phone call or not answering my messages and yeah. stuff like that. I think one, one, one situation which I'll never forget would probably be that one casting director who like just told me I should go back. She said, we don't want people like you here. Like Canada doesn't have an entertainment industry, but, yes. but Hollywood does, but LA does, right? And when I look at LA, I'm just like, there's a diversity of people there. Everybody, True. you can, anyone can go and try yeah. their luck, you know? If you have the talent and the passion, go for it. Nobody's gonna tell you, go back to your country. You know what I mean? Why are you here? So when, when I heard that, I was just like, you know what hurt me the most? We grew up watching Hindi cinema. When I say yeah. we, I mean like Moroccan people, like the, yeah. the, the Arabs. We, we watch Hindi cinema, we idolize Hindi cinema. You know what I mean? When you go to Morocco, you need to see what they do about Shah Rukh Khan. They're crazy yeah. about Shah Rukh Khan. Like Shah Rukh Khan's pictures are everywhere. People love him. You know what I mean? Amita Bachchan. You know what I'm saying? Like Madhuri Dixit, ma'am. Kajal, everybody. They're obsessed with them. Yeah. And then to come to India and then have someone tell you, why are you here? Get out of here. You know, we don't want you. It was like, oh my God, but we love you. You know yeah. what I mean? But we love this industry. Yeah. But we grew up with this industry. You know what I mean? So then, But are these people your friends or family? It's like everybody. You know what I'm trying to say? Like people I know, colleagues, associates, classmates, friends, everybody. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Family, so they're like, what? Ah! <laughs> you know, that's a different story. <laughs> but so I was in between people here are saying, go back home. I can't go back home because they're telling me, why yeah, did you leave anyways? So I'm just like, mm-mm. I have to make it. I have to make it. But it's been a long journey, a long journey. And they must be super proud of you given the space that you've created for yourself yes, for today, sure. you know. You have broken the glass ceiling, you know, with Dilbar and actually with Bahubali, the song. Yeah. And then now with Dilbar because Dilbar was the most popular track of last year and maybe for the years to come. Um, do you see a change in perception among these people who initially criticized you or for sure yes yes for sure i feel like so initially when when i started getting work like my first film was a yeah. film called uh roar tigers of the sundarban yes. in which i was acting in so i remember at that time the people around me would say a lot of things like listen there's a formula in this industry don't break the formula don't do songs don't do south songs don't do reality shows don't do tv mm. you do any of this stuff you're over pack your bags go back to your country like that so one day i woke up and i was like why am i even listening to everybody i'm gonna do whatever work comes my way so reality shows came my way i did them i did big boss yeah. i did jalak you know what i mean south songs came my way i did all the south songs in one year i did like 11 songs yeah. do you know what i mean i just yeah. said work just come to me you never know who is gonna see me so and imagine i got bahubali because of the other south songs i did if i have not if i didn't do those south songs yeah then that director would have never thought of me for bahubali true so everything in my career has been connected by dots. one opened another door opened another door opened another door and dilbar happened because of one show i did in the south like a miss femina diva award show i did so when they were casting for Dilbar, they seen that video and they're like, this is the style we want for Dilbar. Yeah. So they had called me, asked me if this is, if I can do this for Dilbar. I was like, yeah, sure, you know. So that's how Dilbar happened for me. And of course, Kamaria also happened, but Kamaria yes. I shot before Dilbar. Um, and Kamaria happened because of Bahubali. So everything was connected. Yeah. But as you can see, 
it's it's in the end of the day it's a song that made me kind of explode thank you for this thank lovely you. conversation <laughs> because it it was it was nice to know the kind of struggles that you've gone through i don't think a lot of people know that they yeah. just know how you are and how you dance people should actually get to know the real yeah. story behind yeah. your life you know it's and it's what you've done is incredible <laughs> thank you i really appreciate All it the thank best you so much and thank you for doing thank this. you for having me Hey guys, this is Nora Fetz. Hey, if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to Pink Villa.